What is up, everybody? Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Today we are talking about The Last of Us Episode 6. Some spoilers ahead, so if you haven't watched the episode, stop now, hit that follow button, and come back later. But without further ado, let's talk about this, because there is a lot to break down here. From video game to TV show, there's a lot of differences. First of all, hats off to Gabriel Luna. He absolutely crushes the role as Tommy, the voice, everything, the mannerism. He's just absolutely doing the character justice. And every conversation with these two, with Joel and him, was fantastic and ripped straight from the video game. There were a couple differences. One of the key differences was the conversation that Joel and Tommy had about keeping Ellie. Um, it was a lot different in the video game. It was a lot quicker. Whereas in the TV show, they made it more of like a, a, a deeper conversation and we're really seeing you know, what Joel's been going through throughout this season. And I think that's the point that they're trying to, to make here and why they changed that quick sequence from the game into the TV show. Another big difference was the dam. So in the dam, that town that you see in the TV show wasn't fully formed yet. We actually just get to see a tour of the dam. Some things were being built. And then there's actually this big fight that breaks out in the dam area that wasn't included in the TV show, which I thought was kind of disappointing, but I get why it was left off. Another big part of the video game was the conversation between Joel and Ellie about loss. And they portrayed this so well in the TV show. And honestly, Pedro Pascal for a minute, I thought was Joel. His voice, everything, the whole sequence was incredible. We even got the fun part of Ellie reading the diary just like in the video game. So the visit to the university was a lot different in the game than it was in the TV show. Yeah, we did get like some of the same buildings. We got the monkeys. However, the fight that you actually see in the TV show was a lot um, less crazy than it was in the game. In the game, um, you basically have to fight your way out of the building. And the way Joel gets injured, he actually falls off a ledge and gets impaled by a spike. And basically, he's like fading and Ellie has to carry his ass out of the building. And I really liked what they did with the game and how intense that scene was. And I thought them changing it in the TV show was kind of disappointing because that whole sequence was really cool to me, in my opinion. And it also really showed how strong Ellie's become. Um, and she'll do anything to protect Joel in the video game. And I, I kind of wish they had that. Either way, the outcome was still the same. It was brutal to see regardless. Some of us who played the game know what's happening next. For those, obviously, who haven't played it, I won't spoil it. It does look like, though, for Episode 7, we are getting the um, expansion that they added to the video game of um, Riley and Ellie's story, which will be interesting. So we might not actually get to see the outcome of this until Episode 8, which makes sense. So other than that, hope you all enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys next week.